Well, hi there, folks. Remember my EDF little cheap foamy RC conversion with a this was number 16, number 15, number 13, I can't remember. I've built 16 of these cheap foamy to eight pounds in the shops once a year foamy conversions, all on build blogs, all on my channel. This was my EDF version 50 mil, I think it was EDF, flew okay, but I added a thrust tube on it because I saw online it actually adds. I don't know, 20-30% more thrust. Flew even better, but speed controller burnt out on that flight. So this is now a 40 amp speed controller mounted on the outside, hoping that's going to stay cool. I can fly it with a 2S or 3S. Build blog is on my channel. 2S or 3S. 3S800. My notes said okay, but but not too much full throttle. So I'm going to do it with a 3S and see how it goes. It's very light, so it's going to get chucked around a bit because it is actually quite gusty up there. But anyway, let's give it a go. It will fly with a 2S, but got a lot more poke with a 3S800 in the front, and it balances perfectly on centre of gravity with that in there. Um, and it's really great, as you'll see. Right, nice little gentle breeze from this direction. Let's give it a go. Because full throttle, it's pretty quick. Knock it back to half throttle. Into the sun. I don't want to be in the sun. I'm going to come round this way out of the sun. Okay, knock it back. That's half throttle. That is about one third throttle, so tame, but give it some throttle and it will really go. So knock it, now I've got some height again, I'll come back to half throttle. Something's trying to bite me here. Something keeps trying to bite me and it's distracting, it's my right arm. Still needs a bit of right, needs a bit of right trim. I can't get it. No, it needs a bit of left trim. But look how tame that is. Oh, too tame. <laughs> too tame overconfident <laughs> into the scrub. But anyway, it flies nicely. I'll give it one more little go just to show you that I can land it. Oh, wind's picking up a bit. It might even saw now. I'm going to go into sub trim. Give it a bit of right. Good hard throw, three quarter throttle. Oh, and it did go in the scrub because I'm misfingered there on the elevator. I caught it, caught it with my thumb and didn't actually give it any elevator. I'm going to give it a left hand throw. Well, I discovered the reason why I was struggling a bit, even though I've got Velcro there, I should have checked where the lipo was because it had gone right forward in the nose. So it was, I was trying to throw it when it was very nose heavy. So I've moved it, I'm going to check the voltage there and, and then maybe give it one more go. Well, that's better. But I'll fly it gently. My notes on it say that it will fly with a 3S, but, but fly it gently. And I was flying it a bit too hard. Oh, I've gone too heavy on the sub trim there.
Anyway, just to show you how beautifully this lands, I'll fly it around a bit more at half, half throttle. I've gone too much in the sub trim now though. Come back round for another go. That was full chat to get round over those trees. I didn't like it. If the speed controller had gone there, I'd have been in big trouble. Anyway, let's. I'm shutting the throttle there to start my glide in because a little bit of gas. No, still doesn't want it. I've got too much sub trim on it. Anyway, let's land it properly. Well, not quite properly. Not quite properly. Yeah. Too much right sub trim. Oh my god, what fun flying radio control planes is. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I was checking the temperature of the speed controller occasionally in between those flights and it was warm but not excessively hot so I think I've probably got a winner here. So I'm well pleased about that. If you want to see the build vlog, very easy to build and a link for the EDF. I'll put that at the end of the video. But that's all for now. Hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. Bye for now.